Good day! InstaForex company presents you a series of video instructions of working with MetaTrader 5 terminal. The topic of this video is charts and how to work with them. The major visible part of the terminal is currency pairs charts, in other words, charts of financial instruments. With the help of charts, you can watch the price changing, analyze the dynamics and directions of the price movements, monitor the positions you opened and your pending orders on the chart. MetaTrader 5 terminal allows opening up to 100 charts in one go. The design of each may be adjusted. In order to analyze the market and price movement, you can lay various objects and indicators on your charts. Any chart may be printed out. There is the corresponding option in the File section of the menu. In comparison with preceding versions of the terminal, there are more time intervals available. You can employ 21 time frames. The period of the current chart is altered with the help of the Chart Period button in the toolbar. The toolbar only shows the most frequent time periods by default. The list of periods shown is easily adjustable and you can add to it the buttons of time frames preferred by you. In order to do it, give a right-click to the Chart Period point of the toolbar and choose Adjust. In the right part of Toolbar Settings, there are the titles of buttons placed on the toolbar. On the left part of this section, you will find the buttons to place on the toolbar additionally. Drag the preferred button from the left part to the right one to place it on the toolbar. Or just choose the button with a left click and press Add. To remove a period button from the toolbar, drag it from the right part of the panel to the left one or mark it with your mouse and press Remove. Information on the dynamics of changing financial instrument prices can be represented in the chart in several ways – line, bars and Japanese candlesticks. Switching between the modes of showing price charts is done via the buttons on the toolbar. The Line Mode – the price is shown as a line linking prices registered at the end of each time period. With one H time frame, the line in the chart joins the instrument prices fixed at the end of every hour. Such representations are convenient as a trader has a visual notion of how such important price parameter as period closing price changed. Yet, due to its simplicity, the line chart has some drawbacks. One of the most considerable ones is lack of any information on how the price changed within the chosen time period. Another way of informing of price changes does not have such disadvantage. In order to have maximum information in the chart while being able to zoom in out the chart, a bars chart is employed. A bar is a vertical pillar with its top indicating the highest price hit by the financial instrument for a certain time period. Its bottom shows the lowest price registered for the period. Thus, they indicate maximum and minimum prices for a day in the D1 chart. An opening price, fixed at the beginning of the period, is depicted as a little tick on the left and a closing price as a tick on the right. If the price grew for the period, the closing level will be lower than the closing price and vice versa. The third way, which is called Japanese candlesticks, totally coincides with the bar chart with only one peculiarity, depending on whether the price rose or fell for the period the candlesticks are variously colored. With the help of the Insert menu section, you can place some graphical objects and indicators necessary for analysis. The most frequently employed graphical objects can be concentrated in the Graphical Instrument Toolbar section. The setting window in this toolbar is analogous to that of Chart Period 1. You can adjust the design of each chart in accordance with your preferences. 
Press F8 in the section of the Charts menu point. The Features window comprises three tabs. Change the quantity and pattern of information shown in the chart, adjusting parameters represented in the tabs. Some parameters shown in Features window are also available on the standard toolbar and in the Charts menu. If the changes made are necessary to be applied to several charts, take advantage of templates. Templates allow saving the type of representation and color scheme of the chart, scale, grid and dividing periods, advisor with its settings, indicators with their parameters and graphical elements. After you made the chart up in compliance with your preferences, choose the Save template in the Template section. Press Upload template to apply to the new chart. Close the unneeded charts. If the checkbox appeared reading, save deleted windows for reopening, then templates of the charts closed earlier will be saved and they can be reopened with the help of the Open Deleted File option in the File menu.